Um, hello everyone, and in my previous video I showed you an uh, audio system for Unity. So it's a system where the audio volume and frequency depends on uh, the, uh, the obstacle that stands between player and audio source. And in this video I'm going to show you my implementation of bullet penetration. So here we go. You can see that we have here a shotgun bullet which consists of four pieces of bullet because you know that you know the shotgun and uh, you know the bullet can be departed so it can consist of many pieces. And in this case you can see that we have here a concrete wall which has physical material concrete and collider and layer obstacle and white uh, color color shows uh, the free speed of this bullet so the speed which was used once we hit the trigger of our shotgun so this is the uh, start speed then our bullet hits the concrete wall and the speed of our bullet was decreased and now we hit wooden wall so this game object has physical material wood and box collider and then finally our uh, our bullet hits the wooden wall and stuck in this wooden wall and you can see that we don't have here any force applied to this part of wall only you know, to this part so now let's just have a look at uh, what will happen when we move our bullet somewhere else for instance here you can see that we have here a different angle you can see that I don't have a ricochet here yet because it's it's not that time to implement I'm, I'm going to show you the basics uh, so this is where we lose our bullets so they come here and we lose them I don't implement gravity of bullet yet and ricochet it's just the basics once again and if for instance we go with our shotgun far away and use our shotgun from far away you can see that uh, that mm, uh, our concrete wall takes all the bullets and this wall takes less so it's just like a, you know in a simple shotgun so if you are coming closer to wall uh, there will be more damage to the wall that stands behind this wall. If you come go far away, sorry, you can see that it's, it takes less and less bullets. So it's you know, so it depends on uh, firepower of your bullet and your weapon. So this is a shotgun. Uh, I will. I'm going to implement sniper rifles, so so, so you know special uh, bullets that will uh, make double, mm, double or triple. You know this uh, penetration or how you know how to say. I don't know. I'm not a specialist in the weapon uh, business, so I'm just saying what I'm thinking of. Uh, so you can see that in some areas okay so this is also very important so this is also concrete obstacle but this obstacle is just a plane so it has no volume not good volume so it's coming uh, you know, through it very easily okay so it's about this it's about this uh, well you know the script is not finished yet uh, I will just show you a basic variant so I have here uh, actually it's uh, 
it's script created from the scratch. Uh, so what do we do here? So we cast. So you know, I'm not going to explain you everything. If you are interested, just give me a note, just give me some comment, and I will explain this for you. But for now, I'm just going to give a brief uh, introduction. So we have here such system. So um, I'm just going to paint it. So this is our our bullet single script. It's it's connected to my previous video. That's why I started to talk about my previous video. So it's about physical materials of each object. So yeah, this is our uh, concrete wall, wooden wall, our bullet, and uh, this is how it works. So we cast array. Then we hit some wall, and we takes and we take information about uh, a material of this wall, physical material. So if if this is a concrete wall, uh, so this is a maximum uh, range of our you know bullets, right? And if, for instance, it's a wooden wall. So we hit this wall, uh, then we take information about material, and uh, the maximum range will be like this, or like this, or maybe even, you know, like this. But because of this uh, concrete wall, uh, we will do the following stuff. So we just do this. Right again. This, 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 and this. Here we hit wall once again, and we calculate that we don't have enough of power to make another penetration, and we stop our bullets over here. We stop our bullets over here. That's all. Also, I'm talking about gravitation, so you can make your bullet work with with gravitation. But keep in mind that you know the physics in Unity is not very stable, so you can you know uh, send your physical bullet through the wall, and it will not hit the wall and check its uh, script. It will you know go through. You know it happens sometimes with U U U Unity engine. I mean physics. Uh, yeah, that's all about this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good time. Bye bye. Bye bye and have a good time. See you later in the next video about something very interesting or maybe not very interesting. And meanwhile, I'm going to proceed working with my bullets. I'm just going to make some more bullets. More, more bullets of my shotgun. So it's going to be a stress test. Let, so let's just say we are under heavy fire. So we have here many, many bullets. And you, and you, you can see that uh, not many bullets really can kill us. So the bullet or the shotgun from this point and from this doesn't kill us, doesn't hurt us. But the bullet from this range, from this place, can kill us in our cover. So we have to keep our enemies on a distance if we are in a cover. But if we are in a cover and our enemy is over here, so our enemy can kill us instantly if he is over here and he shoots from this point and we will be dead. Yeah, thanks for watching this video once again. Once again, let's add some more bullets. More, even more bullets. Super, super heavy fire. <laughs> yeah, enough, enough. Thanks. Need to go to get to have a dinner. Bye bye.